Hi guys, so this is video just going to be on my cleaning routine for Mika and Squirrel's Jabalarium. First of all I'll show you the equipment I use when I clean them out. So first we've got the uh, Megazorb, we've got it in a big tub there. That's the main bedding I use. I got this little hamster cage which I just put them in while I clean them out. So it's just alright for a little while while I clean them out. I got a bag of shredded paper there. I got some hay, some straw, some soft bedding, soft paper bedding, and a cloth, some cage cleaner, some chews to put in afterwards. There's a toilet roll tube and half an egg box, and some bin bags. And the hoover, which I use to hoover some of the dirt out there. So I'll just need to get the gerbils out and then I'll be back. So I've put the little guys in there now and I've taken the top off, put it there. So I'll just show you what I put in there. I'm putting some cloth. Just a little hide. Excuse me, squirrel. Put it up there. So the first thing I do is clean out the inside of here. Okay, so that's that. I just got to show you this. I wear this because I'm asthmatic and it gets quite dusty when I clean them out. So that just prevents the dust getting into my lungs. So I'll show you that. So the next thing I'm going to do is tip out the bedding. Then I use the cleaner to just clean out the inside. That's that one. So next I just need to put in their bedding. I just put in this gobble tube. I'll just cut a slit out of it. in a little bit of the old bedding so just so they have a similar scent. Sometimes I put in like three quarters of the bedding, sometimes I leave half, it just depends. Sometimes I completely change them when they need to completely change them but let's put a little bit in at least. So I'll just put in a little bit. This is just so they have their familiar scent in there. Then put in a layer of shredded paper. And then some straw. And put that. This is a little bit of this. Also, all my hay and straw I freeze before I put in the cage just to make sure there's no mites or anything in it. Just freeze it for a few days and take it out. I think we should never know if that would be school when we move. So yeah. Plus all that bedding will get mixed in when I start burrowing it. Yeah, so. Put the bits back in. And I'll spread this. Thing I showed you in the last video, which I'll put in for them, they are starting to get into it. And then, 
Yeah, for two of them today. I'll show you another time. That's that. And that is basically what I do for their tank. So now I'm just going to show you how I clean out their top half. So as I showed you in my haul video, I bought some vinyl tiles which I bought to put on their shelves instead of using card. And so I've just put this on now. It has sticky bottoms so I've stuck it, sort of, it's not that sticky but I've stuck it to the wooden shelves and here I've just left the paper on and just placed it on. So I'm going to give this a try. The reason why I chose to use this is because it's easy to just wipe clean. Unlike the card where I have to change it all the time because they do pee on it and stuff and it just soaks up and makes the tank smell. So I thought I'd just try the vinyl tiles. So yeah, I will let you know how that goes. So yeah, I'll just put that in there. So now I'm going to put the toys and stuff back in. So I'll just show you 